now. Welcome to News Watch 12 at 10. I'm Justin Betty. Tonight, a Stratford man charged with killing two men last spring has now officially pleaded guilty to two counts of intentional homicide. Investigators say 23 year old Brandon Knoll stabbed 23 year old Michael Stone and 19 year old William Stone on April 7th of last year at a home in Stratford. According to the probable cause statement from that day, Noel told detectives he wanted to kill someone his whole life and felt like that day was the day to do it. No sentencing date has yet been scheduled in this case. Today, the Wisconsin State Senate and Assembly were in session for less than one minute combined. It's a special session called by Governor Tony Evers to expand Medicaid. Now, if Wisconsin raised the amount of money people could make and still be eligible for Badger Care Plus from about $13,000 a year to almost $18,000, Wisconsin would be eligible for a one-time $1 billion bonus from the federal government as part of the stimulus plan. In a letter sent to Governor Evers, Republicans called that expansion unneeded and even reckless and say they worry what would happen when the government runs out of money. So again, they've turned this down, gaveling in and gaveling out within a matter of seconds. Several thousand people across the North Woods in central Wisconsin are still without power this evening after a line of storms moved through that includes over 3,500 people in Wausau, according to the latest numbers from Wisconsin Public Service. But the weather has settled down now. Newswatch 12 Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller joins us now live with some details. Jeff. Yeah, hey Justin, the severe weather threat is over and so are temperatures like this. Highs back near 80 today and humid. We're not going to do this again for a while. Much colder air is on the way. All right, so the storms are now pushing to the east of us and dying out. There's still a, a few pockets here of heavy rain across Portage County, back over to Wood County. But overall, uh, the reports are not coming in much anymore. And we had quite a line come through earlier today, knocking out power and causing some damage across the area. But this front is now coming through. Uh, that's going to change our lives tonight because behind this is high pressure, uh, cooler, drier Canadian air is on the way and it's going to be kind of really cool. Uh, Thursday and Friday we could hold high temperatures in the 50s and maybe even some frost around here on Friday evening. Until then though, looking pretty good tonight. Now there's partly cloudy skies as the rain is now pushed off to our east. Our forecast then for tonight though is uh, partly cloudy skies or decreasing clouds with low temperatures down near 53. Your full forecast is coming up, Justin. All right, thanks, Jeff. The number of new COVID-19 cases in Wisconsin continues to drop. Today, the Department of Health Services reports 376 new cases. That drops your seven-day rolling average to 314. That's the lowest we've seen since last summer. Meanwhile, DHS also reports eight new deaths today. We're down to four per day over the last week. More than 5 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine have now been given out across Wisconsin. DHS reports about 47% of all people in the state have now received at least one dose of vaccine. Just over 41%, they say, have now completed their vaccination. Across the country, the average price of new home sales jumped almost, in fact, more than 10% since last year. And in Rhinelander, city leaders say there is a lack of affordable housing. News Watch 12's Cooper Henkel sat down with those city leaders today to hear how they are planning to help fix the problem. Mayor Chris Fredrickson and the city council started work on the issue last year, looking to address the housing crisis. As we develop the, the problems that's hit before us, the next part is to develop a plan of action to handle these problems. City Administrator Zach Ruing says there's been progress on the plan approved last year, starting with a housing needs assessment with two major goals. One, to attract developers to the city and to quantify the needs that are currently being unmet in the market, but also to show um, some potential strategies that the city can undertake. The two planned housing developments target different sides of the market. One focused on efficiency in one-bedroom apartments. So they're going to be much lower rents, so uh, in the 500 uh, on up. And the larger apartments along the riverfront. Whereas the multifamily apartments are probably more of the 900 and on up, uh, depending on the number of bedroom unit configuration. Ruink expects that to relieve some cost pressure for residents, if everything goes ahead as planned. So by adding new capacity, new units uh, will not only um, support the residents or people that are prospective residents, but it'll also support the businesses that are currently here that are looking to recruit and attract employees. The study will seek public comment with results and recommendations coming by the end of the year. 
setting the course for the city's future. Because the housing market didn't get this way overnight, it's going to take us some time to remedy those things. And so we're looking forward to having that final report and the conclusions. In Rhinelander, Cooper Henkel, Newswatch 12. Meanwhile, the national average price for a gallon of regular unleaded gas is now the highest it's been for this time of year since 2014. It's roughly $3 per gallon now. That's up more than a dollar compared to Memorial Day last year, which of course was early in the pandemic. However, it is similar to what we saw in 2019. The numbers on Wall Street have leveled off a bit over the last month. Today, the Dow dropped about 82 points to close at 34,312. That's off about 400 points from its all-time high set earlier this month, but it is still up about 400 points from where we were one month ago. In Eagle River, a couple young entrepreneurs are hoping to bring some new life to an old coffee shop. News Watch 12's Rachel Eiler caught up with them today and gives us a look at the daily grind. We all know what it's like to redecorate our homes, but for businesses, it's more than just adding a fresh coat of paint and new logos, but retelling their story. You know, if you were in here a week ago Monday, you know, you wouldn't believe what it used to be. It's a new start for a familiar building. I have loved this renovation because everything you see in here is my design. The Daily Grind, formerly known as The Blend, is opening their doors with new owners. We always had businesses of our own in mind ever since we started dating. We just started looking at things that are available and in a weird way this place just kind of made sense. Adding a modern vibe, Christine Angon and Christopher Wagnus knew when they took over they would be starting from scratch. Customers say the change is just what the building needed. The aesthetics are top notch. They kept the good Collectivo coffee so you ease the transition but it's brighter it is clean i love the design uh so it's way more enjoyable to hang out this is really a beautiful place and their food's awesome coffee's awesome but they're not alone in the journey a lot of his family members own their own businesses so they've really been helpful helping us along the way and they're here every single day working with us and working for us only in their early 20s, the couple looks to join other entrepreneurs in bringing a younger crowd to Eagle River. It's kind of been like a downtown rejuvenation with yeah. all of the new businesses that are coming around. And I think it's really going to bring Eagle River up, and I think it's, it's going to do nothing but make the community a, a better place. For this week, the Daily Grind will be holding limited hours all the way up until their grand opening on Memorial Day. Reporting in Eagle River, Rachel Eiler, Newswatch 12. Well, it was a busy evening in the weather department. Jeff's in with your full forecast after the break. You're watching Newswatch 12. Proud to serve Medford and folks all across the North Woods of Wisconsin. Every day on Up North at 4, we travel across the North Woods and back in time because hidden in plain sight are unmistakable links to our past. Join us at 4 o'clock to learn how we got here. Carpet City. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center and get the toughest flooring in the industry at the lowest prices of the year, where they're in stock and on sale. Rigid Max Flooring is extremely durable, low maintenance, waterproof, and easy to install. Come see why builders and designers choose Carpet City Flooring Center for their flooring needs with the lowest prices guaranteed, where it's in stock and on sale. Request your free estimate today at CarpetCityWI.com. Our prices will blow. Since its inception five years ago, Incredible Bank Foundation and Incredible Bank employees and owners have donated nearly $1,250,000 to charities throughout the Manaqua and Eagle River area. But the truest measure of our support comes from our employees who have contributed 4,000 hours in five short years to community organizations that better the lives of residents living in Manaqua and Eagle River. Incredible Bank, helping you start something incredible and finishing it. Play your way. Dine your way. Stay your way. Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. Win your way. Let's 
rest our eyes here just one last time. High temperatures back up near 80 today. We're not going to do this again for a long while as we have much colder air on the way. The wind is shifting uh, from the south all day today out of the west to the parts of western Wisconsin. Now that's going to bring in some cooler temperatures. It's going to be enjoyable around here tomorrow with less humid temperatures and highs back in the 60s. Going forward though, so it doesn't stop there. 53 is the forecast high on Thursday with a few rain showers through the afternoon. It's going to feel like fall around here on Thursday. Uh, 58 or so on Friday and back up in the 60s by the weekend. Memorial Day weekend looks pretty good with temperatures in the 70s on Memorial Day. Okay, so here is what happened with those uh, storms today. They pushed pretty much across the entire northern half of the state. They're dying out now, but they were squirrely for several hours today, as you know, with several severe warnings across the area. Still a few pockets of heavy rain uh, with a line persist across parts of Portage County over to Apaca County and Wood County. Uh, reports of two, three, even four inches of rain in those areas. Right now, though, you can see that's where the bulk of the precipitation still is across southern Portage County into Apaca County, drifting, slowly drifting south and east this evening. The rest of us, though, we're all good. We're in clearing out mode, and we had quite a day around here and several damage reports uh, at its peak, over 10,000 customers out power through WPS, uh, and still some wind damage around Wausau at a 55 mile per hour wind gust there, some hail around Tomahawk, almost golf ball size hail near there. So overall, you know, we kind of squeaked by okay today, but there still were lots of reports of damage across the area as those storms kind of worked their way through. Uh, but that's all turning off now. Here's the front just to the west of us now. We're pretty much just over us right now, moving to the east about 35 miles per hour. And again, this air over here is much different than this air over here. It's going to really dry out tomorrow with temperatures back in the 60s. And this front kind of turns everything off. And then it's really going to feel a below average temperatures for a while around here. Not much like late May. All right, so this is the measure of the dew points, as you know, and this is the muggy air here. And you can see exactly where the front is, right? Right across parts of Price County, United County there. Wherever it goes dry, that's where the front is. And that'll be drying out air for us tonight into tomorrow. That will also kick up the allergies. So tomorrow, the tree pollen is in the high category. And look what's on the map now. Grass pollen is on the map. This will likely go gangbusters as well pretty soon here. So if you're sniffling and sneezing, this is likely a reason why allergies are kind of kicking up there right now. Our forecast then for tonight, though, is partly cloudy skies, less humid. There are still a couple thunderstorms out there in Portage County, Adams County, Wood County as well, with low temperatures down near a less muggy 53 for tomorrow. Okay, so it's Wednesday already, partly cloudy, uh, cooler tomorrow, and way less humid, highs near 61, meaning much of tomorrow is spent in the 50s. You ready for that? With a northwest wind that could gust near 30, making those 50s or low 60s feel even colder. And then looking ahead, your seven-day forecast by Northwoods Furniture and Metro shows a chance for rain showers on Thursday. Rain showers with clouds and a gusty northwest wind and temperatures in the 50s on Thursday. You ready for that? And then Friday a bit better. Saturday 66. Memorial Day this year looks like a couple of storms around. High temperatures back in the low 70s. Justin. All right, thanks, Jeff. Well, thousands of people from around the state are expected to hit the water this weekend for Memorial Day weekend. And the DNR is reminding everyone to wear your life jackets. They say the majority of people who drown in boating accidents do know how to swim, but they become injured or weighed down in the water. So life jackets help. So far this year, six people have already died in boating accidents in Wisconsin. They also remind everyone to boat sober. People living in assisted living aren't often able to explore the outdoors like they used to, but one organization in Rhinelander wants to help change that, at least for one afternoon. The Hodag chapter of Let's Go Fishing brings seniors onto Boom Lake for a few hours of fishing or boating. Organizers say the local chapter hosted nearly 100 outings in 2018, none last year because of COVID-19. But their 2021 season starts up very soon in June with the training day for volunteers on June 1st. Online registration also begins then. You can find more details by Googling Let's Go Fishing Rhinelander. A 10-year-old from western Wisconsin recently caught a fish that might make a lot of people jealous. 10-year-old Christian was fishing with his grandparents at a park in Eau Claire Monday when he reeled in this monster sturgeon. Okay, with a little help, he reeled it in. The sturgeon measured about six feet long. It's estimated to be about 70 years old. After taking a few photos and removing a couple hooks, the family released the sturgeon back into the water.
We know Aaron Rodgers has not yet made an appearance at the Packers organized team activities this week, but he's not the only big name missing from OTAs. We'll have the latest from Green Bay after the break. This is one of the biggest furniture events of the year, the Memorial Sale at Slumberland. Everything is an additional 25% off our already low price. Well, hello, Slumberland. Get your look for less at the huge Memorial Sale at Slumberland. When you spend your whole life working, training, waiting, for one moment, and suddenly, you have to wait for that moment. You know how you feel? Like you want it even more. Next summer, the world comes back together. For an Olympics unlike any other. My name's Arthur, Merrill, Wisconsin. In August of 2019, I started getting numbness in my feet. By July of 2020, my feet were so numb, I lost a sense of balance, I thought I was walking on stilts. I seen this ad for spinal aid. I took 20 treatments from them, and, and by then my feet were 90% better and no longer felt as I was walking on stilts. Are you experiencing weakness, numbness, and or pain in your feet or hands? These sensations might even be affecting other areas of your body along with your balance. You might have already been diagnosed with peripheral neuropathy and are taking drugs such as Lyrica, Gabapentin, or Cymbalta that never seems to help. Neuropathy pain ultimately diminishes your quality of life. Call Spinal Aid of Wausau today to see if our treatment methods are right for you. Call 715-203-1508 to schedule your neuropathy severity consultation or visit us at SpinalAid.com. Incredible savings on Sealy mattresses during our big memorial sale now at Slumberland. Plus, come try any of our eight memory foam queen mattresses, all for under $9.99. And get free shipping. The huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Coming up on your Wednesday, we'll learn about some free IT courses coming up for students at Nicolay College. And we do have some calmer conditions moving in and really cool temperatures. How cool could they get? More will you tune in on your Wednesday. Sports Watch 12 with Griffin Stroin starts now. Day two of organized team activities or OTAs took place today. Still no sign of MVP Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay, even though he did make an appearance on SportsCenter last night to say goodbye to Kenny Mayne. But he's also not the only Packer not in the Badger state. A decent amount of big names are not at OTAs, including Devontae Adams, David Bakhtiari, Jair Alexander, Alan Lazard, Marquez Valdez Scaling, and a few more names. Now, did you notice a pattern in those names, though? A lot of them are wide receivers. Their top five wideouts from last year were not present, which made things a little different for quarterback Jordan Love. But the Packers are, will are dealing with the, uh, the hand that they've dealt themselves. The message is just control what you can control. Try to be the best player you can each and every day. Attack it with the right mindset, the great, a great attitude, great energy, um, and just try to get better as a player. And even though it's only been two days, Love has been impressing the coaching staff. He's getting a good amount of the first team reps, even if he's throwing to a makeshift wide receiver core. But more importantly, he's getting more snaps under center, something he wasn't able to do last season due to the global pandemic, something LaFleur is not taking for granted. I think this time is, is really invaluable for, for everybody, but in particular, the, the guys that have not been exposed to football at this level. Final day of OTAs is tomorrow. LaFleur was asked if he had any thought of canceling or making minicamp optional. But as of right now, all roads lead to minicamp taking place and being mandatory. We'll have to wait and see who shows up for it, though. Game two of the Brewers series against the San Diego Padres took place. Corbin Burns on the mound for Milwaukee. He was trouble, had trouble in the third inning. Padres, they're going to run the classic steal and run. Going to second and then going to home. Colton Wong's throw is off target. San Diego strikes first. Now, later on in the inning, it's Jerkinson Profar. He's going to line this one into right field. going to get past the first baseman. Run scores easily, and the Padres are one of the best teams in the league for a reason. They score a ton of runs. In the seventh, they're up 5-0. Let's make it six. And it's Profar again to right field. Runner scores. Brewers drop game two of this one, 7-1, the final. 
Now, even with all the rain and lightning we saw, some local teams were able to sneak in a game or two. In Elko, the Hornets hosting three lakes, and this was a dandy while we had it. In the second inning, after giving up a leadoff single, the Blue Jays pitcher is going to make light work of Elko. One strikeout, two strikeouts, and then he's going to pick off the runner head into third. Heads up play there by the pitcher. Three lakes is out of the jam. And then in the third, they'd add to their lead. A pass ball here is going to equal another run for the Blue Jays. Hustling home, they're up 3-0. And then later at the at-bat, they're going to have a runner on third. And this single's going right up the middle. Another run scores. Game would shortly be rained out after that play. Three Lakes win it on the road 4-0. Couldn't make it to any softball games, so here are some scores from around the area. In Rhinelander, Hoda Eggs utilized the Dome for the second straight mid uh, mid. Day midway into a game, uh, Medford dominates in this one, though they win 10 nothing. And then Assumption taking on Newman Catholic. Assumption wins this battle 7 to nothing. We also had the Three Lakes Track Invitational taking place. Nine different schools competing in the meet. Four by Andrew Relay was the first event, and Wittenberg Burnhamwood was able to win on the boys' side with an impressive time of 9 minutes and 14 seconds. And then for the girls, it was all Tomahawk. The Hatchets finished almost a minute and a half ahead of the rest of the competition with a time of 10 minutes 37 seconds. Girls' 100-meter hurdles belong to Jalen Hordick of Wittenberg Burnham one. I mean, she's just making it look easy out there. And then for the boys, it's Ryan Leonard's Cole Worrell putting on a show. Well, ahead of the rest of the pack, the invitation, though, had to be cut short due to the weather. But in shortened version, Ryan Leonard boys win, while on the girls' side, it was Lakeland Union victorious. Justin, two straight days where I'm affected by the weather. I mean, I'm just not a fan of it, I'll be honest. Makes things complicated. Thanks, Griffin. They used to call it the Big Ugly Wall, but now Wausau police have added some color and some meaning to their Victims Resource Center. We'll give you a look at their latest creation after the break. Everyone sleeps at Tomahawk Furniture and Gun with prices so low you'll have to bend over to see them. Prices that'll make your eyes pop out. Want to sleep watching TV? Check out our recliners. You want to pass up face first in a sofa? Check out our sofas. And beds, we've got beds. Check us out, prices so low you'll think we're crazy. Because everyone sleeps at Tomahawk Furniture and Gun. You're a hard worker. Provide for your family. Do good things in the community. Help out your neighbors. You've been there for so many others. Now, we're here for you. Your local Wisconsin Energy and Emergency Assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. Wisconsin's Knowles Nelson Stewardship Program has been protecting our land and water for 30 years. Let's keep it that way. Our parks, trails, and open spaces give us a place to recharge and safely connect with friends and family. From trails and parks to waterways and working forests, Knowles Nelson gets it done. But if the legislature doesn't act now, we could lose what makes Wisconsin special. Call your senator. Reauthorize the Knowles Nelson Stewardship Program for 10 years for Wisconsin. Welcome, Paul 15. How you doing? Good, thank you. I have a question for you. Were you wearing your seatbelt today? Yes, I was. Do you always wear your seatbelt? I do, thank you. Do you need any help out there? Um, do you want to help me? <laughs> Am I in trouble? No, you're not in trouble. <laughs> I just want to say thank you. We really appreciate that you wear your seatbelt every single day. Click it or take it. Chevy is America's fastest growing full line brand and people are taking it everywhere. Taking Trailblazer outdoors, confidently taking on new places with Equinox and taking on more with Silverado. Whatever you do, there's a perfect Chevy to take you anywhere. Find your perfect Chevy and get 18% of MSRP cash back on all 2021 Trax models. That's over $4,700 cash back on this Trax. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. The Mercer Area Food Pantry will be hosting another free food distribution tomorrow. It starts at about 10.30 in the morning. Organizers say it includes milk, cheese, and other various products. Then again on Thursday, May 27th, two days from now, they'll be holding a farm-to-home event starting about 10 in the morning. For more information, you can contact the Mercer Area Food Pantry.
You might not realize it, but psychologists say the use of color and which colors you use can affect your mood. That's why one Wausau Police Department officer wanted to uh, make something out of a big blank wall at their Victim Resource Center. News Watch tells Morgan Johnson shows us what they created. Uh, we always refer to it as the big ugly wall. A new beginning. That's something many people who visit the Victim Resource Unit are often looking for. Our job is to connect with victims and work with them and um, connect them with resources in our communities. So whatever that might mean for that victim. Sarah Bettish has been with the Wassa Police Department for 10 years. And when she joined the Victim Resource Unit in 2020, she decided to do something about the blank wall. And it's like we have victims that come through here. We have clients that come through here. Officers walk through here. I'm like, I want to paint this wall. Like this is really boring in here. This is not welcoming. There's nothing about this space that says... We help people and we do a lot of really good work. Bettish got in contact with a co-worker's wife who works at the Center for the Visual Arts in Wassa. Sarah gave me a tour of the surrounding areas and kind of their mission uh, and how, like what type of imagery inspires them. She found Jessica Kopecki, a graphic designer, illustrator, architectural photographer, and for this project, a mural artist. Kopecki says everything she illustrated has meaning, even the flowers and choice of colors. We tried to get a lot of imagery in there, so there's the obvious motifs of, of the, the people who are walking through this, through this process, and um, you have the um, the police officer, obviously, and taking these people who we're trying to make as uh, gender and race ne neutral as possible. The mural gives everyone a different feeling, but Bettish wants this mural to give victims one similar feeling. I hope that it gives them a glimmer of hope or like a, I hope that it shows them that we recognize the struggle that they go through, um, that we recognize it is a, it is a um, difficult path for them to take to be a victim of crime and then to make necessary steps to something better and brighter in their future. Do you have thoughts, good or bad, on news happening across the country or our coverage of it? Call into the News Watch 12 Your Two Cents line. We may use your thoughts on air. Summer is about having fun, not worrying about your old, outdated dock. Portadox corrosion-resistant roll-in or post-dock aluminum dock systems offer durability and longevity, as well as functionality with multiple configurations and decking options. Virtually maintenance-free Portadox systems will keep you in or on the water all summer long. Visit your local Portadox dealer and welcome to where the land ends and the summer fun begins. Devorax Docks, Highway 45 in Elko, Tomahawk Sports Center, North 4th Street in Tomahawk. Summer is here, and with a great deal on a new Toyota, you can go out and do all the things that make summer, well, summer, like go biking, glamping, pony rides, Mother's Day, scavenger hunts, found it, off-roading, Right now, you can lease a new 2021 Benza Hybrid for just $2.69 a month. To learn more, visit your local Toyota dealer or go to toyota.com. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. It's only paint. It's only paint that comes in an award-winning twist and pour container. It's only paint that can cover the brightest shade of orange known to mankind in just one coat. It's only paint that will help you become TV's hottest writer, where one day you'll meet this guy who starred in that thing. So yeah, it's only paint. Only easy opening, smooth pouring, change your life, both professionally and romantically. Paint. Right now at Menards, get 11% off everything, including Dutch Boy Paint. Step one, build a new breed, make it an SUV, send it off-road, send it to Baja, then evolve, enhance, expand, make it capable, smart, human, and then make more. Because the only way to predict the future is to build it, and the only way to build it is Ford Proud. See your Ford dealer to build and pre-order a select SUV, like the new Bronco Sport, and get an additional $500 bonus certificate on top of all offers.
Lego just unveiled their largest set ever. It's a world map with roughly 11,000 pieces. <laughs> it stands more than two feet high, three feet wide. It includes a Lego frame, hanging elements, and pins to highlight places you've either visited or would like to visit. The world map costs $250. It's available on the Lego website starting June 1st. I love this idea. A little costly. All right, guys, who still goes to the Lego store at the mall? Oh, I would totally would. Yes! I was too impatient. There's not a mall anywhere around, but if there was, I would they go to the Lego store. They still have those. Lego stores oh, everywhere. Yeah. All right, so weather-wise, Griffin, the you got like you Legos. made it between the raindrops today. Somehow, somehow survived you it. made it, but a lot of us did not make it so out so well. Lots of severe weather across the area today. That is now passed to our east and dissipated. Still a few pockets of heavy rain across parts of central Wisconsin now. Portage County, Wapaka County, Adams County as well. But the severe weather threat is over, and now the narrative change is over to the temperatures. So tomorrow... We're going to have high temperatures back in the 60s, uh, which is kind of where we're at now. It's 60 in Rhinelander, 58 for Medford. Uh, and it's just not going to go up much at all tomorrow as cooler, drier Canadian air moves in. And then look what happens to your seven days. So gone are the 80s, gone is the humidity, and then in comes the sunshine in 60s tomorrow. Rain showers and 50s on Thursday, and there could be frost early Friday morning for a pretty good weekend. Maybe a couple of showers late Sunday. We don't Monday. complain about 50s or 60s like eight months of the year. But so frost could, in late May, that's, no. That's a lot. No. It's whatever. All right, thanks, Jeff and Griffin. Thank you for joining us on Newswatch 12 at 10, The Tonight Show, starring Jimmy Fallon's next. Have a great night. Peace.